A 21 year old Uber driver and his passenger were killed a week ago and New Orleans police still haven't announced any motives or suspects in that case. But now investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein is joining us with exclusive new information about how the passenger feared for his life after an earlier brush with the law and Mike police connected to him to a brutal French Quarter attack. Yeah, that's right, Katie. At the time he was killed, along with the Uber driver, Janelle Hampton was awaiting trial on a charge of accessory to attempted second degree murder. And that dark cloud of that case left him fearful. So young, you never get an opportunity to experience anything. That was John Banks Morgan grieving the fatal shooting of his only grandson, Janelle Hampton. Like the rest of the family, he was devastated to hear about the double killing, which also took the life of 35-year-old Uber driver Andrew Stiller. I was never under the impression that he was guilty of anything. And that's Michael Idiaga, Hampton's criminal defense attorney. At the time he was gunned down in what appears to be a targeted killing, Hampton was awaiting trial for accessory to attempted second degree murder. With no criminal record and the first in his family to attend college, Hampton was free on bail. But the case left the Suno student scared. He was nervous because he didn't want to be, you know, con considered for criminal prosecution and, and sentencing um, together with all these other people who, for all we know, actually were criminals. Police connected Hampton to a serious shooting in the French Quarter in January 2022 involving three other defendants. But Idiaga says his client was just a bystander and was puzzled when police arrested him first for obstruction of justice, then later the accessory charge. He was at best a witness. Um, and just didn't want to be involved at all. He belonged to the school culture as opposed to the street culture. His attorney never thought Hampton's fears would be realized beyond missing class to make a court appearance. Tragically, they did. He was just, you know, afraid to be swept up in, in, in this, whole, this whole tragic thing. I reached out to the NOPD today, but they said they have no updates in this troubling double murder. Katie and Therese. All right, Mike, thank you so much.